Have you ever dreamed of going to space? Well, thanks to SpaceX's Falcon 9, that dream might be closer than you think. This rocket isn't just making launches cheaper, it's opening up new possibilities for all of us. Let's dive into how SpaceX's journey with the Falcon 9 is bringing space a little closer for everyone. I'm Tom from Boundless Space, and this video is about Falcon 9's purpose. It is the first of five key technologies driving the space revolution. But first, why is all this happening? Elon Musk started SpaceX from the beginning to make an ambitious dream real, building a city on Mars. Mars is, as he is fond of saying, a fixer-upper of a planet. This hostile planet, colder than Antarctica, with an unbreathable atmosphere and no magnetic field to protect from cosmic radiation, this planet is where SpaceX will build its city? That sounds difficult, or is it insane? And they're not planning to build just any city, but a self-sustaining one with a million humans living there. But here's the catch. It needs a ton of money. So what's their plan? Enter Starlink, their satellite internet project. It's like a space piggy bank helping fund their Mars dreams. But hold on. How do you launch thousands of satellites without going out of business? Satellite constellations previously all went bankrupt. Tiny upstart SpaceX had an idea reusable rockets. When they pitched this, the space experts laughed. Impossible, they said. But SpaceX wasn't listening. They were about to turn these doubts into one of the biggest upsets in space history. Want to know how? Keep watching. When SpaceX first started their quest for reusable rockets, they tried something that seemed pretty logical. Parachutes. I mean, it works for skydivers, right? Well, not so much for rockets. The problem was, these rockets were coming in hot Literally. They'd burn up before the parachutes even had a chance to deploy. It was back to the drawing board for Elon and his team. But SpaceX isn't known for giving up easily. They came up with a wild idea. What if we use the rocket's own engines to land it? It had never been tried before on an orbital rocket. Firing rocket engines at hypersonic speeds while entering the atmosphere? It sounded like science fiction. But SpaceX was determined to make it science fact. Of course, this bold new approach came with its fair share of challenges. And by challenges, I mean explosions. Lots of them. SpaceX's early landing attempts looked more like fireworks than rocket landings. Each failure cranked up the tension. Even their fans were beginning to wonder, was this even possible? Could SpaceX actually pull this off? But here's where you see how SpaceX isn't a typical aerospace company. They didn't see these explosions as failures. Their whole strategy depended on failure. There was no book for this. They learned by doing it. Failure was their teacher. Each boom taught them something new, brought them one step closer to success. It was a long, slow, painful experience. And the SpaceX team was invested in the mission from top to bottom. SpaceX's employees believe in the company's mission, it is this team, these futuristic visionaries, with big brains and hearts and the will to make sci-fi real, that are the true secret weapon of the company. But more on that later. SpaceX kept trying and failing. And then it happened. SpaceX managed to land a Falcon 9 booster at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. It was the moment that changed everything, and all the space actors knew it. Landing Falcon 9 wasn't just a win for SpaceX, it was a turning point for the entire space industry. Suddenly the idea of reusable rockets wasn't a joke to old space organizations, it was real. SpaceX had done the impossible. They put the world's first ever intact used rocket on display at their headquarters. But they didn't stop there. They kept pushing, kept learning, kept landing. Next, they landed on a drone ship in the middle of the ocean. And even more remarkable, they turned this impossible thing into the routine. Now, landing SpaceX rockets is more reliable than some rocket launches. It's pretty wild when you think about it. The part of the SpaceX mission that started as the most mind-blowing is now an afterthought. Yeah, yeah, of course, the reusable space rocket landed itself on the autonomous drone ship Boring. Yeah, it's still very cool. But none of that matters unless it saves money. Let's talk about the financial magic behind Falcon 9's success. 
it's not just about landing rockets. It's about making them pay off big time. How big? Try a billion dollars in savings. And it all comes down to three parts of the Falcon 9. When we look at the Falcon 9, we're not just seeing a rocket. We're seeing a monetary revolution in space technology. This rocket has three main parts. The booster, the second stage, and the pharynx. Each of these plays a crucial role in not just getting payloads to space, but in saving SpaceX a ton of money. Let's break it down. The booster is the workhorse of the Falcon 9. It's the part that does the heavy lifting during the launch and then comes back down to Earth for a soft landing. The second stage takes over once the booster separates, pushing the payload to its final orbit. And the fairings? They're like a protective shell for the payload during the initial ascent. Now here's where it gets really interesting. SpaceX has figured out how to recover and reuse both the booster and its nine rocket engines and the fairings. That might not sound like a big deal, but trust me, it is. Each time SpaceX reuses these parts, they're saving about $20 million. That's right, $20 million per launch. But wait, it gets even better. Over the course of 20 launches, from the same booster and pair of fairings, these savings add up to a whopping $400 million. That's some serious cash SpaceX didn't have to spend. And when you consider that as of this recording, more than 10 Falcon 9 boosters have flown at least 15 times, it's like SpaceX found a way to print money in space. This massive cost reduction is changing the game for everyone. Industries that once thought space was out of reach are now seeing new possibilities. Research that was once too expensive to even consider is now becoming feasible. SpaceX isn't just making space cheaper, they're making it accessible. And remember, that wild dream of building a city on Mars? Well, these cost savings are bringing that dream closer to reality. Every dollar SpaceX saves is a dollar that can be invested in the technologies we'll need to colonize the red planet. But SpaceX isn't content with just saving money. They're using these cost reductions to launch more frequently and more reliably than their competitors. It's like they've unlocked a cheat code for space launches, allowing them to operate at a scale and efficiency that's never been seen before in the industry. You might be wondering, can a single rocket really change the future of space exploration? Yes, in three ways. Let's start with reliability. Because the Falcon 9 booster and fairings are recovered, they can be inspected to find any weaknesses and also to find parts that are overbuilt, so they can be made more cost effectively and reduce unnecessary mass. Secondly, because SpaceX doesn't have to wait to build a new booster with its nine Merlin engines and two new carbon fiber fairings, they can be back on the launch pad in weeks with the same booster. Reusing their boosters has allowed SpaceX to launch an incredible 180 plus Starlink missions, putting over 6,900 satellites into orbit. But Starlink isn't just about filling the sky with satellites. It's a game changer for internet access worldwide. With more than 3.5 million customers and billions in revenue, Starlink is proving that space-based services can be very profitable. And remember that wild dream of the city on Mars? Well, every dollar earned from Starlink is another step closer to making that dream a reality. Third, they've made the ultimate virtuous cycle. The more they fly, the better they understand their rocket. The better they understand their rocket, the more payload they can carry and more efficiently they can launch and recover. Practice makes perfect. And while SpaceX isn't perfect and will never be, they feverishly try to improve. The Falcon 9's success isn't just changing SpaceX, it's forcing the entire industry to level up. Competitors who once laughed at the idea of reusable rockets are now scrambling to catch up. It's like SpaceX threw a rock into a pond and now everyone's feeling the ripples. Blue Origin, Rocket Lab, Relativity, and Stoke Space are all in on reuse. Meanwhile, the SpaceX team these pioneers behind landing a rocket and reusing it are innovating again. They're already well into their next project, Starship. Currently, the Falcon 9 extends its second stage like most rockets. Only the Space Shuttle ever reused its second stage and that was a long and costly process. The shuttle returned to Earth like a plane, but Starship lands like a skydiver, falling through the atmosphere at insane speeds, waiting to the last moment to flip fire its engines, and land gracefully. How mind-blowing will this be with people on board? Imagine a future where we're not just sending a few astronauts to the moon or Mars, but establishing a permanent human presence there. That's the kind of future Starship, with a crew capacity of up to 100, is designed to enable. 
It's a rocket built not just for exploration, but for colonization. And while that might sound like science fiction, remember, not too long ago, so did landing and reusing rockets. The journey of the Falcon 9 shows us how a single innovation can spark a revolution. By making launches more affordable and reliable, SpaceX has opened the door for new ideas in the space industry. But here's the really cool part. This isn't the end. It's just the beginning. Inspiration 4 in 2021 and Polaris Sun this year 2024 show that space is no longer the exclusive domain of government employees. And now that that door is open, it's not going to close again. Mars colonization? It's not science fiction anymore. It's a goal humanity is actively working toward. SpaceX isn't just building rockets. They're building our future in space. And with each Falcon 9 launch, that future gets a little bit closer. This is just the first in a series about SpaceX's plans to build a city on Mars and the technologies they're engineering today to make that happen in the not too distant future. Please subscribe to not miss the rest. Thanks for watching.